Hello, Internetians. My name is Josh, aka Ultra Player, and I am your coach of the Philly Soul Dude. What is going on, everyone? Welcome back once again to the APA. This is going to be the semifinals. We are taking on Dan, aka A Drive, and his St. Louis Rampados. Uh, the man who tossed me in week two and handed me my first L of the season. We are back facing off against him again and his finalized squad as well as with my finalized squad. Uh, quick couple things. I'm going to try and get this done fairly quick. It is a relatively short video. As I'm not sure if you can see the timestamp of how long the video is, but it, it was two offensive teams, so it's going to be a lot shorter than any other match I've had. Basically, all season because <laughs> I like balance. Anyway, I, I'm low on time. I've got distracted all day, and I forgot to record this. So hopefully we can get this out relatively quick so I can get ready and go to work. But also, um, what was I going to say? I'm Josh. Nice to meet y'all. Um, if you want to know exactly what I'm bringing, why I'm bringing it, how the team changed everything, I put it a very, it is a very long team builder that I put up yesterday. But it goes extremely in-depth on both the team uh, that I made the uh, way it changed over the course of mo uh, mock games that I had, etc., etc. It's very long, but it's very in depth. And if you want a good um, view into how higher level players uh, prep for games and revise teams as they go, it's definitely a video worth watching. It's definitely a good resource. So let's get into it. Uh, as you can see on the screen, my man, A-Drive, has decided to bring his Rotom Wash, his Mimikyu, his Bronzong, his Donphan, his Victini, and his Megalopony. So, when I first saw the squad, like, the first thing I noticed without any pause was there was no Tornadus on the screen. No Tornadus is fabulous. Even though I do have two good checks to it and some offensive ways to deal with it, I'm very happy with this. Not seeing Torn is really, really good. I also don't see Tyrantrum, which is nice, because no Rock Resist. Um... No Slurpuff is beautiful. So, those three mods, not, not seeing them is really, really nice. No Audino or Garboder. I'm not really too surprised about that. As I said in the team builder, I'm not, I, I did not expect those. But not seeing Torn, um, Tyrantrum, and Slurpuff is really, really nice. That means I also don't have to deal with webs. So, uh, but when I see this team, uh, it harkens me back to one of my mocks that I had. I think, it, um, I think we figured out it was Shay who had this uh, mock with me. But this is this is giving me some worries because this is telling me Trick Room, right? He has a Victini, he has a Slow Mons, he has uh, Bronzong, he has Mimikyu. These, like, these things can run Trick Room. This can be a Trick Room team with just Megalopony as a speed control in case something gets out of control except for, you know, Aerodactyl. So, uh, that's kind of something I'm looking at. Uh, I'm saying the Rotom's going to be very important in this match because it's his only water resist, so he may want to keep that around. I'm not sure how he's going to deal with that. Uh, Mimikyu is really uh, really annoying. If I can bust the disguise on Mimikyu, the game is just, just about over. Right? The the one thing that's going to keep him alive, and I think everyone, like, in my front office, uh, like, this is something that we talked about extremely in um, after mocks and such, was that Mimikyu's disguise is the most important thing for Dan. Like, after I realized how how it served in mocks, literally... Mimikyu's Disguise is a make or break in this match. So that's something that I really want to get broken. Uh, but I had to be careful with it because I can't let it, cause I can't let my Kingdra die. My Kingdra obliterates him, I might add. <laughs> because he did not bring Aldino. And he did not bring Garboder with Rocky Helmet. And of course, he did, it just obliterates him in general. So let's get into it. I'm going to lead off with my Lander Asterion. I know that Rotom Wash is a very obvious lead. I'm not sure where you all see my mouth. I don't have the layout done yet, so I have to just edit it all together later. But, um... Yeah, uh, I know uh, Rotom is a very obvious lead, but I can U-turn on that. And if he leads any of his other potential leads, such as the Megalopony, such as the Mimikyu, such as literally anything, uh, I can uh, take care of that. But he's going to lead off with Voltageist, which is going to be the Rotom Wash, which is perfectly fine. I, I refuse to believe that I'm not faster than this. To be faster, he has to be literally max speed and or timid. So I'm just going to go ahead and go for U-turn. I'm going to bluff that. I'm Trace Scarfed. I'm going to get some damage off. That damage seemed weird to me. I immediately know it's like, this is a really weird damage to me. So I'm going to go to my Sir Arthur. It's my check to this. I, I know the wrist is just stay in, but um, I'm going to go to my Sir Arthur because I'm not 3 KO'd by Rotom Washes. Uh, Hydro Pump, right? Right? That's what, that's what, I, that's what I thought, right? I'm not, I'm not 3 hit KO'd by uh, Rotom's... Uh, <laughs> by Rotom's Hydro Pump. Isn't that right? Isn't that right? <laughs> so this is a choice Specs Rotom. <laughs> First of all, max special attack, choice specs Rotom. 
Uh, that I know. <laughs> Or maybe like maybe Max Modus Hydro uh, Splash Plate, but th yeah, this this is a problem. Uh, so I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm scared. I know I have to stack off Jolteon, which I'm okay with because this was here for Rotom and Tornadus, and if I get a lot of damage off on it, it's fine. I'm gonna go for Hidden Power Grass because it does a lot of damage to this, and it as I said in the team builder, it get gets rid of that 50/50 between Rotom and Dawn Fan. He didn't knock me out with Hydro Pump. Perfectly fine. I have plenty of mods I can go out to that will prevent this, but specifically, I'm gonna go to my Mew because I know it outspeeds and it. A good mod to have in because the only thing that will thre really threaten me is going to be the Mimikyu, right? So uh, he's gonna die. His Rotom's gonna go down. He didn't go to Victini, and here's where I'm just like, this is Trick Room. This has to be Trick Room. So uh, he's gonna go to Victini, and this Victini's gonna be a problem. I said the Victini shouldn't be too much of a problem versus the team, but Dan found a way, and that was Bluff Trick Room <laughs> and bring Life Orb Victini. So I'm gonna go for Taunt to stop him from going for Trick Room. Turns out he's just Life Orb, and you're gonna see on this next turn. If I go into Mega Aerodactyl, uh, do I go into Mega Aerodactyl? Or do I go into yeah? I go into Mega Aerodactyl. He goes for the Flame Charge. <laughs> I knew I could live a Thunderbolt, and I'm like, okay, that sucks. But uh, now that I'm gonna be able to get my Mega off, I know I live a Thunderbolt from a Life Orb Victini, so I'm perfectly okay with this. I can just go for Stone Edge and get rid of this thing. Uh, however, <laughs> uh, my boy Dan. I hate facing Tar Heel because he always knows what I'm going to bring, but I hate, <laughs> I learned after facing him the first time, I hate facing Dan because Dan keeps me on my toes more than anyone. He goes for Thunder, he's going to hit, and I already I already knew the second I saw Thunder, I'm like, this is going to kill me. Uh, so I lose my Mega Aerodactyl. I should have scouted for that 100%. I should have gone out into my uh, Land Earth to scout, but I'm perfectly okay. Like, I can I can still deal with this because I still have my, um, my big Mon. I'm going to go out to my Porcelain now. Uh, and I'm going to get the rain up and then I'm going to sack off my Mew because I can still handle everything else. I still have the Mon I need to win the game with, which is going to be my Kingdra. So I'm going to go ahead and sack off my Mew. Unfortunately, this Victini has done more work than it ever should have. He goes for Blue Flare, which scared me because I thought Thunder would come out because there's no reason not to click Thunder. Uh, but I'm guessing he predicted his, uh, my Landers to come out. So he goes for Blue Flare. If he had gone for Flame Charge there, I would have been in a whole lot of trouble because he would have potentially killed. He might not have killed, actually. It's rain, and it's a physically defensive Mew. It might not have killed. It probably would have, though. It was 19. Uh, but he didn't go for Flame Charge, which means my Kingdra's going to outspeed, so I can go out to my Kingdra now, and I can just click Waterfall, and something's going to die. Uh, Mimikyu's disguise will bust, and then I'll kill him with Waterfall afterwards. Uh, Dawn Fan do, will kill it, obviously, even because it, even with Sturdy. Uh, he's going to go to Bronzong, thinking that he's going to take this, but uh, unfortunately, as unless he's completely fully physically defensive and gets really good rolls, Banded Waterfall in the rain from my Kingdra will always to a KO the Bronze Song. So I'm able to get rid of this Mon really, really quick, which means that I probably don't have to deal with Rocks. I don't think this is going to be the Rocker. Or, I mean, I don't think Dawn going to be the Rocker. I think Bronze Song would be. So I'm able to get rid of that as he goes into uh, Mimikyu. And this is something that I was not looking forward to when I saw the matchup uh, team preview because I knew that this 50 50 would come in. Uh, but I'm going to make the safe play. I'm going to go to my Landris. I'm going to hope. Oh, by the way, name Toph, not Ripple because I messed up because I'm good at life. Anyway. I'm going to go to my Landorus, I'm going to make the save play, and I'm going to actually win this 50-50, and he's going to go for Player Rock instead of SD. Everyone for SD, uh, it actually wasn't as much of a 50-50 as I thought, actually. In my head, when I was, like, in the game, I was like, this is a 50-50, because if he's uh, SD Mimikyu-inium, 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 mimikyu z if he was mimikyu z and he wanted to snuggle, if Dan wanted to snuggle with me, um, then at plus two, he might have been able to kill me, so... Uh, that was really bad. But the fact that I see Life Orb is really good. I know that Life Orb Mimikyu does not 3 KO me with Intimidate, so I know I can come in on this again. Uh, but I'm just going to give a U-turn, I think. I think I should have Stealth Rocked. Should I have Stealth Rocked? Ugh. Maybe I should have Stealth Rocked there. Nah, because this comes in. That's right. I forgot what came in. That's right. Lopini comes in. I'm going to click U-turn. Goodbye. <laughs> and I'm going to go to my Kingdra because my Kingdra's health isn't the most important right now. Uh, it's okay if it takes a little bit of damage, but I just can't let it take too much. So I'm going to go to this. I can take a fake out. I'm okay with taking that bit of damage, and I'm going to um, click Waterfall here. And we're going to see that he is, in fact, going to go for the fake out. And he's going to get some damage off of me. He's going to bring me down to 112. He's going to bring me down to 112. So, uh, obviously, he has to sack something again. This is the, the beauty that his king tries, that every time it comes out, something dies. So, uh, I get rid of Victini, which is good. That's another uh, mod that I just didn't really want to deal with at this point. Two Flame Charges won the game uh, at any given point. So, uh, the rain stops, and he can bring out his Lola once again. And this is a very important turn. 
because at this turn, um, I decided what to do. I'm not going into Landorus. I need the health on Landorus to take on Mimikyu, and I know he's going to, um, like, I can't really deal with it right now. So I'm going to go to my Pelipper, because I can maybe take two returns, and if he over-predicts and puts anything other than return, here, I will always leave the hit, and I can U-turn out. So I'm going to bring in my Porcelain, I'm going to bring up the Rain again, and uh, he is going to go for the Ice Punch as he is going to get some damage off, and I know I would deliver a return at this point, and I can just go for the U-turn, which is nice. So, uh, I'm going to be able to U-turn on this. I'm going to be able to keep my porcelain in the back as either a sack or as um, really whatever I need it to be. So, I'm going to bring my Kingdra, and he has to sack something once again, and I believe he is going to sack the Mega Lokini here, and now he only has Dawnfan and the Mimikyu. And these two mons potentially could still win the game, to be honest. Uh, my three mons could still win the game, but um, his two mons could also still win the game. Ooh, look shiny. But, um, he's going to bring out his Mimic Cube. And I'm going to go for Waterfall. I'm going to take this 50-50 as a chance to break this Disguise, because I feel like if I break Disguise, I can win. Um, I feel like SD is his play here, so he can potentially try and win, because he doesn't know my lander is set. He doesn't know that at plus two I still live, but he might be able to kill me. Um, but I'm going to flinch. And that virtually seals the deal. He doesn't go for Shadow Sneak here, even though I think he should have. But uh, I'll talk about this in a second. It's why you've been hearing clicking. I've been pulling up the caps again. Uh, so he's going to go to Reese's, which is his Dawn fan. And I'm going to go for Waterfall here. Uh, I believe he goes for Earthquake, so he can get some damage off. And... Uh, I'm gonna flinch again, <laughs> which is really bad. Because I have pop every pops, but I get to flinch again, which obviously just seals the deal. There's no way he can win at this point. Um, but I want to talk about this, uh, so I can hopefully fend off anyone who is gonna come and dislike my video because I hacked Dan. Because that's gonna happen. People ha disliked my video when I faced Dan last time, even though he won. And while he did get some luck versus me. The luck he got versus me did not matter, which I said in the video. Uh, yeah, so like five people came in to like my video, which is more than ever. So anyway, uh, what are they talking about? <laughs> uh, sorry, someone texted me. So let's let's talk about a couple things and why this uh, was, while unfortunate. Um, ended up not mattering. So I do want to talk about that. I want to talk about why this, this did not matter. And it really sucks because I'm probably going to piss some people off and they're going to dislike my video. By the way, if you have the ball to dislike my video, you have the ball to tell me why. If you want to stop watching here while I explain this, go for it. Have a good day. I love you all. I'll see you in the finals. Heart, heart, heart. Thank you for at least watching my video even if you don't like me. So why did this not matter? He went for SD. I asked him after the battle, what did he go for? He told me he went for SD, and he sent me his Dawn Fan set, which is the only two that things. What he clicked here and what his Dawn Fan set were were the only things that um, matter to the outcome of this game. If he clicked Play Rough, uh, he definitely had a shot to win, 100%. Uh, to be fair, like, I played the 50-50 with this because I knew that if he clicked um, SD that I could lose. So... Uh, I said that I have 112 HP. I said it a couple times so I can be specific. Uh, I need a second calc. I'm going to bring this calc over. You didn't see that, I hope. Oh, it's okay. You don't need... It's okay if you see that. So, I'm not sure if y'all can see the calc. So you can't, but... Y'all saw my spread. You can see... You can calc a standard Mimikyu. Mimikyu if it has deed. Uh, Jolly Life Orb Mimikyu. Would have done 88 HP. Would have, would have left me at 24. And then Don Fan would have come in, and his specific spread was 132 Adamant. If you watch his team, if you watch his video, which you probably did, which I support, you should go watch the video. Uh, Don Fan picked me off. Right? Uh, Don Fan picked me off with the Ice Shard. Uh, but here's the thing. If he does pick me off with the Ice Shard, and that's only if, like, he gets a max roll, right? Those are only if he gets a max roll with me with you. If he doesn't, then it comes down to a rolls between... I shard, but uh, so let's say he SDs, 
I break the, I he I break the skies, he SDs, he kills uh he goes for Shadow Snake, I kill him. Uh, he goes into Dawn Fan, he has a quick ice shard, if he got good rolls, he'll kill me. Let's say he does. Just for the benefit of that, he probably would. The rolls are that rolls in his favor anyway. Um, I go out into my Pelipper. Uh, my Pelipper. And I would count this. My Pelipper was at 32 HP. Which means Max Attack, Adamant, Dawn Fan, which is not, he was 132. The Max Attack, Adamant, Dawn Fan did not knock me out with Ice Shard, which means I got to scald it. Which would have brought it down into its sturdy and popped its eye pop berry. If I didn't, if I did not, um, uh, burn him, which again, we're gonna say that I didn't burn him. Uh, I go out to Landorus next, and my Landorus with the Intimidate lives Ice Shard. And Tectonic Rage would have knocked him out at 51%, which he would be at. Because of again, I know his spread. I know his spread. He has no, um, he has no uh, bulk. And if it was rain still up, I forget was rain still up. Rain should have still been up. Rain should have been up the entire match. Yeah, rain was up the entire match. Uh, so Skull would have always knocked it down to its sturdy. He would have gotten his Iber Iber Pop Iberi back. He would have been at fifty-one percent tectonic rage to a max HP Dawn Fan because he has no spit death. Or, um, to a max HP 124 defense, because he was defensively invested, um, does 60% minimum. So, no matter what, I would have won. Even if I went uh, Landris first and clicked Tectonic Rage and he crits me with Ice Shard, whatever, um, I would still win, right? So, he goes out to Dawn Fane, he kills me with, he kills me on my Kingdra with the Ice Shard. I go out to, um, Landers. Actually, he had to crit me. So, basically, he had to crit my Landers or my Helipur to win. Because if I went to Landers, I would just click Tectonic Rage, uh, brought him down low, and then uh, he would have killed me with two Ice Shards. And then I would have got to Pelipper. His Eye of Papa Berry wouldn't have popped, and I would have killed him with Skull. No matter what, like, I still won this game. Because of the way I played my Kingdra and the way I won the 50 50 with Mimikyu and Kingdra in the game. It sucks that he never got the chance to find out, which is what we decided. We didn't really talk too much about the match because I knew he was really upset. Which is fair, because I get really upset when I lose the packs. But in the end, it sucks that he didn't get a chance to find out whether or not he could have win or not. Um, in the same way that when I missed Thrill Run, I didn't find a chance, have a chance to find out if I could win or not. Uh, he had the hacks to beat me in semifinals. I had the hacks to beat him in uh, week two. And it sucks that it's come down to this. And that I feel like I need to explain myself, but I just know someone's gonna like I, I really just feel like someone's gonna say something. So with that, that's me the end. Uh, I'm gonna try not to be myself and shitpost and bully and poke fun at Dan for um, you know beating him. But like this is what I normally do. If you guys you know aren't already familiar with how I take care, I like handle things like <laughs> like I just I, I meme around. And that's typically what I would do with a lot of people in this situation. But I'm not going to do that. Uh, that is after this video. I'm going to do one tiny little bully, and then that's going to be it. And we're going to move on to finals after that. And that, um, we'll get to in a second. But that's that. We uh, win semifinals match against Dan, and we move on to the finals. I'm not going to tell you who I'm facing, because you need to go watch MV and Gator's videos. One of them won. One of them is facing me. I'm either finally getting that match versus MV that I didn't get to last time, or I'm refacing Gator, who wants to destroy me after this Pokemon on your screen completely destroyed him. Actually, it wasn't really that much. It was but Kefagor just won me that game. Anyway, that's that. But before I go, Dan, I really am sorry about the hacks. It sucks that you never got to see what happened, but, uh... Hey, bro, you caught it, man! Hey, roll clip! I'll call it right now. The only way you beat me is if you if you get more luck than I do. Take that for some trash talk. <laughs>